what's good youtube akil here back with another video and today i'm going to be taking you guys on a trip to the thrift with me and i hit up a few different thrift stores and i was able to come up on some dope clothing and i even got some really good electronics here as well so if you guys are interested in these videos make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also just want to shout out everybody that's been supporting the consistency tees definitely appreciate the support but without further ado let's get into it Alright y'all, so as soon as I got to this Goodwill, I came across this Canon Super 8 film camera, and these cameras are worth a ton of money. But as you guys can see, the first thing I wanted to see was this lens, and it definitely had a really big crack in there. But if it didn't have that crack, I probably would have picked this one up and sold it for at least anywhere between 250 and 300 bucks. The good thing was, was that the motor was still working. As I was pulling the trigger, I could still kind of hear the motor turning. But with that lens being cracked like that, I didn't want to take the risk with it, especially for 25 bucks. So drop a comment if you guys would have still picked that one up with that broken lens. So here were some walkie-talkies. I actually sold some walkie-talkies in the past, but I actually got negative feedback one time because I wasn't able to test it and I just sold it as is. And then the person still, you know, sent me negative feedback. So thankfully, I was able to get that feedback removed. But ever since then, I try to make sure I always test these type of walkie-talkies and they didn't have the power cord for this one. So I ended up putting it back. So this was a really good find. Here was this uh, ceiling fan. It was brand new, still factory sealed. There were actually two of these. One was actually opened and this one was factory sealed. So I ended up grabbing this one up for $6.49. Um, comps on this one was pretty good, selling for about 50 bucks. And when this does sell, I'll probably use UPS or FedEx to ship this one out. So this was a pretty solid brand to be on the lookout for. Um, I never saw this brand before, but I'm assuming it's like a vintage piece. Um, they were asking a little too much money for me, so I didn't end up taking this one. But if you guys come across this brand, definitely, you know, just check it out. Make sure it's in good condition because this one definitely had some really bad stains on this on the shoulder. It had some stains on the back. And when it comes to these suede pieces, it's really tough to clean these unless you take it dry cleaning. And as you guys can see, just had some wear and tear on the sleeves as well. So for those reasons, I left it right there. But this was a really dope piece as well. This was um, one of those starter diamond collection jackets. Um, if you guys follow the channel, I just picked up a vintage jacket my, in my last trip to the thrift. I only spent six bucks on that one and they were asking 18 for this one here. And that's right around what those were selling for. Anywhere between like 20 and 30 bucks for this uh, exact piece on eBay. So for those reasons, I left it, but still a really dope piece. And, you know, if I was an Indians fan, I probably would have took that one for the collection. Now, it's stuff like this I always try to grab anytime I can find them. Um, this one was just a charger for an older laptop. Um, I actually have a laptop like this for sale, but I don't have the charger. So this is the perfect, just a perfect addition to just add some value to that laptop once I get it sold. Now, here was one of those uh, collectible figures from starting lineup. I've sold a couple of these in the past and they don't sell for a ton of profit usually. I mean, if it was a Michael Jordan piece, then these don't usually would sell a little better. But since it was David Klingler and I had no clue who that was, um, after checking his comps, I just put that right back. So hit to another thrift store and came across one of these VHS playbacks. And if you guys follow the channel, you guys know I sold one that was very similar to this uh, just for about 40 bucks a couple days ago. So the comps on this one was selling for about 50. So I'm definitely going to grab that one up for sure. Uh, here was a Roto disc, and I'm not too familiar with this either, but I didn't see any previous sales. However, one seller had this listed brand new and sealed as well. They had it listed for 45 bucks, but since I didn't see any previous sales, I just put that back. But here was something really dope. Came across this for only five bucks. Um, I sell a ton of these like wireless routers, and this one was selling for just about $50. And the good thing is, is that it had the original box, the power cable, the Ethernet cord all of the antennas so for that reason i should definitely get anywhere between like 50 and 60 for this um but anytime i come across these i usually always grab these up because the value is always there and you know people just buy these up super super quickly so checked out some of the clothing and came across this vintage ll bean jacket i'm not really sure how old it is because i know more of like vintage ll bean is usually made in usa but these chore coats usually sell for some great profit. Um, I don't sell a ton of clothing anymore, but as you guys can see, 
this one in the same color sold for about 70 bucks so when the comps are that strong and the margins are that good that's usually when i'll gravitate towards more clothing uh here was a, a piece that i usually would always grab up but um the downside to this one i'll show you guys in a second but this was harris tweed harris tweed is one of those um those fabrics that usually hold its value pretty well especially during this time of the year where it's kind of cold but the downside to this is that it didn't have any size tag in it and although sometimes you could still just take the measurements and list it as is it usually takes a very long time to sell when when it doesn't have the size tag so for that reason i just put it back but if it did have that size tag it would have sold for maybe you know 70 to 80 bucks uh here was a really dope piece this vintage reebok track suit um this one was in the women's section and this one was kind of plain um the ones that have a little more pop of color sell for some more profit this one in particular probably would go for around 40 to 50 bucks could be only because it was so clean but um these vintage reebok pieces don't usually sell for a ton of money but some of those vintage track suits are really trendy right now so if you can find them definitely grab those up uh, here was this faux fur coat that I, I've sold several of these in the past and I was shocked to see the comps go down so badly. Uh, maybe it's because of the pandemic and people aren't, you know, going out and wearing these type of jackets right now. But I sold a, a coat like that for 100 bucks one year and now they're barely selling for 30 bucks. Now, as you guys know, I love selling bags now because bags have some really good value. And this bag stood out to me mainly because of the color. But once I checked the comps, they were only selling for like 20 bucks. And those were brand new. So this one was used, of course, had some stains and some flaws. So I put it back. But for the personal, definitely would have been a dope bag. And still in the bag section, here's this um, almost like a leather fanny pack from this brand called Mundy. Um, I checked the comps on some of the other pieces sold for some more money. So if you guys find other pieces from Monday, I would suggest picking it up. But just that um, fanny pack wasn't really valuable. Uh, here was a pair of boots from Cole Haan. I guess it was like a Maria Sharapova collab or something. But Cole Haan for me just doesn't sell that well anymore. I, I guess the brand is kind of falling off. Um, still a really clean pair of boots for women, but just not really valuable. But speaking of valuable, this was a really good find. Here was a Bose Wave Radio. I've sold several of these in the past. I've sold the white one, the black one, with remote, without remote. I've even sold some without the power cord as well. And these usually always bring in some decent profit. Um, it was kind of pricey, but after plugging it up and seeing that it did turn on and it included the remote, I figured I might as well take a chance on it because I should be able to sell that for at least anywhere between 150 and 200 bucks. Um, I checked all the glasses in this case just to see if anything was valuable, but I mainly wanted to grab up these suspenders because I always sell travel guard suspenders or braces, whichever one you want to call it. Um, they don't sell that fast anymore because, of course, you know, the pandemic, but I'll still always grab those up. They sell for about 30. So here I was in Goodwill and this one, this was the most absurd Goodwill find. So first off okay steel series is a decent headphone brand definitely not worth 80 bucks but they had this lens for 210 dollars so immediately i had to check the comps because i'm thinking this lens is probably you know one of those five or six hundred dollar lenses that you know people would really clamor for and if it was worth it i probably would have still spent the 210 this lens is selling for like 130 bucks on ebay sometimes 150 so i don't know what goodwill was doing but as usual goodwill was tripping so came across this uh this other camera um I love selling these vintage cameras. I always learn a little something new about it. Um, this one in particular just wasn't worth it, especially for $15. They were selling for just about $25 to $30. So if you see Konica cameras, still check them out. But just this one in particular just wasn't worth anything. So here's something I like to pick up anytime I find them. These are just some like some refrigerator filters. These usually sell pretty quick. Um, they're only $250 for these. And I should be able to sell these for about $25 to $30. I'll probably sell them in a lot of two and just uh, ship them out that way so here was a really good find again this one I'm, I'm trying to switch up my my categories as you guys can see and here was two wireless printers it even had some paper in here as well and the comps on this one was really really good selling for 100 bucks they even charged 25 bucks for the shipping and once this does ship out i'll always ship these big stuff out either via ups or fedex smart post so for 15 bucks definitely worth the investment for me and um, I might even hold on to one of these because I came up on another one that was on the bottom shelf and they were only asking five bucks for this one. So hopefully they both work. If not, I can always still sell them for parts. I know this one previously sold for parts for like 60 bucks, but if it works fine, I'll sell that for 100 bucks all day long. And once again, just ship it out, you know, 
either FedEx Smart Post. And since this one isn't that big, I, I could even ship this out via pirate ship as well and save some money on shipping. But $5 printer like that, that's a no brainer. I had to test out the CD player because even though I plugged it up and it turned on, that doesn't necessarily mean that it works. But of course I had to put up CD in here really quickly. And just after playing it for a little bit, it works just fine and the sound is amazing. So I'm not gonna let this play for too long because you know YouTube copyright. At the end of the day, this should sell for some huge profit. y'all that's all i have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace I'm tight and now I'm off this I'm shit.